welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Nisha. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make some delicious, easy vegan recipes with just five ingredients. You are going to love these five ingredient vegan meals because they're simple to make, obviously, but they do not compromise on taste. I'm not talking about a simple bowl of rice and beans with steamed broccoli. I'm talking about flavorful, comforting, mouth-watering, delicious recipes. The first recipe I'm making is what I make when I want something indulgent, but don't really wanna order an entire pizza for myself. They are sweet potato chickpea quesadillas. They're inspired by one of the most popular recipes on my blog for buffalo chickpea quesadillas, but I've stripped and pared them down to the essential ingredients and flavors and I know you're gonna love it. The next recipe I'm making is a creamy mushroom pasta, the ultimate umami-packed comfort food. Again, inspired by a popular recipe on the blog for creamy mushroom stroganoff. And finally, we're making saucy white beans and kale, you guessed it, inspired by yet another recipe. You can find all of those in the description box below. I really hope you guys are going to enjoy these simple but delicious five ingredient vegan meals. If you're excited about the recipes, give this video a thumbs up. And with that, let's get right into the first recipe. Here are all the ingredients you need for these sweet potato chickpea quesadillas. To a food processor, add one can of chickpeas, along with some baked or steamed sweet potato flesh, nutritional yeast, and Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Sauce. Puree all of the ingredients until you have a smooth and thick texture, almost similar to hummus. Spread a generous amount of the mixture onto a large tortilla, press down with another tortilla, and then heat a large 12 inch skillet with a little bit of olive oil or nonstick spray. Add the quesadilla and weigh it down with a smaller skillet. This helps achieve that irresistible, crispy brown exterior and ensures the quesadillas aren't soggy. After about three minutes, flip and repeat the process. If you wanna add just a few more than the five ingredients, you can serve these with jalapenos, avocado, cilantro, and vegan sour cream. The first thing you wanna do is bring a large pot of salted water to a boil and cook the pasta of your choice until al dente. Meanwhile, slice up some mushrooms. I'm using mostly cremini mushrooms to keep the cost low, but I added in a few oyster mushrooms because I love their flavor. You're also going to mince up some fresh garlic. Saute the garlic in a little bit of olive oil, and once it's lightly browned, add those mushrooms in. Cook them for about five minutes until they're softened and starting to brown. Then add in the salt, but be sure not to add the salt at the beginning because it will bring out the moisture in the mushrooms and they won't get browned. To make the creamy sauce, pour in some oat milk and tahini and stir everything together. Cook until the sauce has thickened up and is super creamy. Once the sauce is done, pour in the hot cooked pasta and toss together until all of the noodles are coated well. To get started, I'm going to slice a large head of dino kale into thin strips. Dino or lacinato kale is less tough than curly kale, so I keep the stems on. Next, heat up a nonstick skillet over medium heat, and once it's hot, add a diced onion and a pinch of salt. The salt helps draw out the onion's moisture, reducing the need for oil. Then add some water and cook until the onion is softened. 
Next, pour in a can of cannellini beans. I love this variety because they're so creamy and they get even creamier from the next ingredient, light coconut milk. You'll also add some canned tomato sauce along with salt and pepper. Once the sauce is incorporated into the beans, add in the sliced kale, toss it around so it gets mixed in, and bring it to a rapid simmer. Cover the pan with a lid and continue cooking until the sauce is creamy and thick, about 10 minutes. This meal is hearty enough on its own, but if you could add a sixth ingredient, serve it over a bed of whole grains such as millet, or you could use brown rice or quinoa. All right guys, now it's your turn. What is one simple meal that you make when you have just a handful of ingredients? Love to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Welcome to my channel. That did not work as well as I wanted it to. Welcome to, I'm gonna break my neck. Welcome to my channel. This first recipe is for buffalo chickpea quesadilla. No, it is not. Sweet potato chickpea quesadillas. Sweet potato, not buffalo. Sweet potato, not buffalo. Sweet potato, not buffalo. <laughs> if you're excited about these recipes, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Oh, okay, that's the microphone. I'm gonna show you how to make five delicious vegan meals. Nope, five ingredients, three meals. All right guys, now it's your turn. All right guys, now it's your turn. All right guys, now it's your turn.